Okay guys, let's differentiate e to the cos x now. So with all terms, with all exponential problems, you always let u equal its power, yeah? So cos x. So in this case, we update this equation to say let u e cos x. And then we say, okay, let also y be updated. So now we got e to the u. So these are your two equations. And now all you want to do is literally differentiate what we have. So now we've got du over dx, which is the first one. Differentiate cos x gives you minus sine x. And don't forget the y here. Differentiating y, so dy over du, will give us just the same thing, e to the power u. And out of all chain rule problems, all you do is multiply the same two terms, yeah? These two derivatives. And you just put a time sign here. And then when you multiply these two, we say, okay, therefore, dy over dx, it should therefore equal minus sine x times e to the u. And now, with all problems here, yeah, we have to always update the u with its original term. In this case, it's cos x. So our final result is just going to be minus sine x e to the cos x. And that's it, guys. This is it.